Welcome back. We are here looking at the foreign exchange market, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 2nd, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you want to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and we'll start by looking at the Great British Crown and the US dollar. And the US dollar continues to appreciate, and that is a negative thing for this currency pair. As you see, we're down minus 0.39%. Sent it is today, and we are below the 200 moving average. We are significantly oversold at this point, so rallies should be expected. But due to the fact that we have closed below the 200 moving average, and there's nearly no pullback at the end of the, the US session, that is a fairly big warning sign that this trend will most likely continue. If we were to rally, we'll mostly run into resistant at the 150 moving average up here around 30 um, 88 so if you look at technical indicators we can see there's still room to the downside in the bullish band macd is very bearish rsi is bearish significantly oversold cci is bearish and so is the stochastic momentum is definitely to the downside and it looks like rallies up towards the 150 and definitely the 20 exponential as we saw here will be sold into Next most likely target here will be the 300 moving average. So we could see this drop another 1.8% to the downside. So let's look at the US dollar, Japanese yen. This has really taken up to the upside. And um, at this point, we are getting fairly overstretched. We are way outside here in the bullish band, a little bit of a pullback at the end of the US session. And uh, we are also approaching overbought conditions. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish and pullbacks will mostly be bought into at the uh, 20 exponential, which is at 115, 513, 30, uh, 13 uh, at this current stage. So, uh, yes, let's look at the euro US dollar. Same thing here as uh, compared to the Great British Pound US dollar. This just looks horribly. We tested um, 300 moving average several times. We also have a crossing here of the 20 exponential and 300 moving average. And uh, within time, we'll mostly also have a crossing of the 50 and the 200 moving average to the downside, which is a very negative sign long term for this currency pair. Uh, we kind of tried to rally and gave most of those gains back. And uh, we have broken below these candlesticks here. So Next will mostly be the 11.70, which will be the next target. So we could see a lot more um, um, downward momentum for this currency pair. However, we are significantly oversold. That is to be uh, also to be said. So rallies they will of course of course occur, but they will most likely be um, sold into when they hit the 20 exponential, moving in this direction. If you look at the MACD, it's still uh, bearish, stochastic is bearish, CGI is bearish, and yes, it is not looking very good for the euro US dollar. So, Aussie US dollar, we can see that this has dropped significantly underneath the 300 moving average, and at the moment, it looks like we are ready to go significantly lower. Um, next, the significant level is around here um, 0 0.73, and then towards 0 0.70 or 71 in that range we have closed it below the 300 moving average and technical indicators are very bearish in the, at this point we are also significantly oversold so we may see rallies at this point as we have been selling off for the last six uh, trading days so we may see a rally but they will most likely be sold into when it hits the 20 exponential so us dollar canadian dollar this has it's starting to look like uh, a change of direction for this uh, currency pair. Um, usually it trades um, um, opposite direction of uh, of oil. And um, so it is uh, fairly odd at this point. Oil is rallying and this is rallying as well. Usually this uh, tends to fall when oil rallies. But uh, at this current stage, we are running into resistance at the 150. We have bounced off the 20 exponential and um, if we manage to break above the 150, then the 200 will come into play right here at 1256. And then after that, the 300 moving average up here. If we break above the 200 moving average, then it's also fairly likely that we'll see the 20 exponential cross the 200 and also the 50 within the next few weeks. 
technical indicators otherwise are very bullish and we are technically overbought at this point a little bit overbought with a little bit room to the upside around 1250 is where we'll find um resistant so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support the channel by subscribing hit the like button the bell button to see our new videos and good luck and thank you very much